Peace and blessings, you too, family. Again, it's always an honor, privilege, and pleasure to come before you in truth, knowledge, and understanding. First, this evening, I want to discuss chemical warfare and its relationship to the foods that we eat, how it affects us in mentally, physically, and spiritually, what chemical warfare is, what the effects of it is, what the chemical warfare uh, um, substances are, and what, how can we uh, reverse the, the effects of chemical warfare? So first, I want to just be very clear. Chemical warfare has always been used at war and amongst unwanted populations and societies throughout history. They've always, the, the, the oppressors or the rulers of, of these days and times were always engaging in chemical warfare to rid of unwanted populations. In today's time, we're being under attack through the food, the water, the air, different medical, pharmaceutical uh, chemicals as well. Um, and I really want to discuss the food aspect and how that is affecting us because it doesn't matter how much we work out. It doesn't matter how much water we drink. It doesn't matter about our attempts. If our attempts are, if we're still in the trap, caught in the trap and in the box of ignorance, your attempts will not bring you out of that box of ignorance so you're still you're not benefiting from your knowledge because you're still in the you're under your enemy sway so whatever direction you take you're not free you're not out of the box so it's still you're still in danger you're still being affected by your environment atmosphere so forth and so on so i wanted to read off a couple of these uh chemicals now this this study came out in 2013 from a, a writer a, a science, scientific uh, uh, a writer um, a scientific uh, communicator and uh, this, this man's name is Mark Lork he made this this uh, study and he's a chemist and this study came out in 2013 and he discussed several devastating damaging chemicals that are in the foods that we eat and consume on a daily basis so I just want to run down the list really briefly before I get into the ultimate message of this evening. So the first one is called E290. E290. This is a chemical that is found more in fizzy drinks, bread, and even homemade cakes. Uh, and it's also in kids' lemonade. So this is a devastating chemical. It's called E290. The second one is capsaicin capsaicin or 8 methyl in vanillin 6 nominamide that's the longer name for this chemical but it's capsaicin this is number two this is a, a very unpleasant chemical the police use this to control rioters but they also put it in kebab um, they also they put it in in chocolate they put it in, in, in a lot of the foods uh, look this one up capsaicin um, it, 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 it causes sweating, burning sensations, and indigestion. And um, that's, that's bad. Look that one up, capsaicin. Number three, denatured protein. Denatured protein, uh, which actually causes, is a cause of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's, and CJD, which is the human version of mad cow disease. And, uh, Yeah, this is a, a very bad disease, or I'm sorry, chemical, but it's called denatured protein. Look that one up. And I'm going to have these listed at the bottom of the video so you can look further into it. I'm just listing six. There are many chemicals that they put in the food. These are just the more harmful ones. And uh, more of the white powders that they put in a lot of the preservatives that we eat are very cancerous and devastating as well. But this, the number four is DHMO. DHMO. This is produced, this chemical is produced by rocket engines. It can be found in fruit juice and, um, yeah, a lot of the liquids and juices and uh, beverages that we drink, you'll find this, DHMO, look that one up. Uh, yeah, just looking through, okay. Number five is NACL, NACL. These are actually two deadly poisons. 
and the, this is what makes the snacks salty and appealing. Um, and this is a, um, it was also used in World War I as an explosive metal, but they put this chemical in more nuts and chips and crispy snacks. So NACL, look that one up. And uh, finally, we have uranium. Uranium. Yeah. Um, this is a very this this can be found. They they use this in, in nuclear uh, bombs and nuclear weapons. But this can be found in the water. Uranium. They put it in tap water. It can be found. Uh, um. Yeah. It's radioactive waste. It can be found in, in more environmental, you know, like the water and the air and like that. It's a more more um atmospheric kind of uh chemical opposed to just being in food. This is more atmospheric. But these that's number six. I'm gonna have all of these listed. All of these chemicals are very devastating to our health, our children's health, and our health. Our bodies are breaking down too early in life. Our bodies and a lot of these chemicals actually affect the reproductive organs of both male and female. In particular, the male, it cuts our sperm count in half and it cuts our reproductive organs in half in terms of size and in terms of sperm count. As you continue to eat and then you see, when you're 50 years old, 60 years old, you see men taking Cialis and Viagra because the foods that they have been eating, the chemicals in it have been affecting their reproductive uh, powers or reproductive energy. So now they give you another, excuse me, they give you another pill to combat the chemicals that are already in your body lying dormant. And the foods that we're eating are killing us. We're not fasting. We're not detoxing. Those of us who are not physically active, it's affecting us a lot because your body is just lying dormant. And we treat our stomachs like refrigerators when they're really incubators. What you put in your stomach is absorbed and sent throughout your entire body. Those chemicals, those nutrients, all of that goes to the brain. The brain sends messages throughout the body. And, and let the body know what to do. If you're putting damaging chemicals in your body, the brain is going to send messages throughout your body for that. Whatever you put in your temple, your body is going to trust you that you're putting what you want to put in it. So your brain and body doesn't know that you don't know. So it's going to do what you put in, whatever you put in it, your body's like, okay, send that chemical throughout the body. We're just ignorant and don't know what we're putting in our body is death and it's produced by our enemies who want to rid of po cut the population in half and destroy the populations. So that's the that's what's in the food, that's what's in the water. And I talk about fitness, I work out. I have an ebook out where I discuss a lot of the nutritional benefits, how to structure your workouts, how to fast properly, the different herbs that we have to take to be healthy. Um, I teach my clients how to structure their workouts properly, but more importantly, it's about what you're putting in your body because you can work out every day. If you're putting the wrong stuff in your body, that chemical reaction is going to be more dangerous and damaging than the good that you're trying to do. It's going gonna, it's gonna to outweigh the good that you're trying to do in your working out and in your lifestyle. So in my ebook, I talk about that as well as teach our people on the value of fasting and, and the herbal intake that we need to be healthy and, and really move forward. But these chemicals that I, that I will list at the bottom of this video are just a few of the, the, the um, more serious chemicals that they're putting that are actually illegal in other countries. But in America, these chemicals are, are, are legal. But when you go to other countries, most of this is illegal. And, um, Chemical warfare is what we're dealing with. That's why the people are out of their mind. It's, you seem to see a lot of madness happening in the within the people. It's not necessarily the infrastructure. It's not the buildings. It's not the roads, the bridges. The cities are beautiful, but the people are destroyed. One, because of lack of knowledge and also because of an inordinate eating disorder and just the, not knowing what you're putting in your body. These are evil scientists that are putting these, these chemicals in the food knowing the effects and how it's going to affect those who eat it you know and that's why we teach fasting that's why we teach working out that's why we teach you know we're we're the if they're going to be the evil scientists promoting 
pharmacy, pharmaceuticals and pills and chemicals. We got to be on the opposite end of that, pushing nature, pushing fasting, pushing self-control and self-love because you're being taught by your open enemy. So this is vital information. And I really enjoy speaking on this because, you know, I, I see myself as a, a teacher in our community. I've worked with a lot of people in my 21 years of training and I've helped a lot of our people as well and many people in general with their bodies, their health and getting their minds, you know, uh, stronger and just learning ourselves more, learning ourselves and our bodies so that we don't depend on someone who wants to exploit us for not knowing, but, you know, really be self-educated, you know, and not depend on pills and vaccines and all these artificial, superficial medicines. When your body is natural, your body needs natural foods to be healthy and strong and vibrant and have longevity. And we're dying at 50, dying at 60 and dying even younger now because we're, we're deviating. We're taking the wrong path. So, um, yeah, I just want to leave it there. And uh, we talk about semen retention as well. That is also chemical warfare. Sex is chemical warfare. The way they use it, the way they misuse sex is chemical warfare as well. That, that chemical that stimulates the sexual desire, that titillates the desire, that's chemical warfare that is used to further detriment us. So we're dying on so many levels. Semen retention is a practice for men to help us gain control of our low desires and gain that discipline. And then, then you can discipline your eating. Then you can discipline other in, inordinate desires that you may have. You can discipline that once you can master the sexual urge and the, the urge for food. Those are the two most powerful urges, sex and food. So any lesser urge you can control because those urges are the most powerful in our human nature. We gotta have food. And a lot of us, you know, we wanna reproduce and have children, but we, we, have, we have to master these urges and these desires if we're gonna be successful in having longevity and staying in this universe and being vibrant, you know, um, and those of us who know we have to spread the knowledge and not be afraid to speak truth and speak the knowledge. But it's time we have to reverse chemical warfare by fasting, dieting. I have a lot of information available. I'll have my information at the bottom of the video as well, along with these chemicals that I spoke on today and the effects of it. But if you're interested, um, in a workout plan, diet plan, my ebook as well, all of that will be listed at the bottom because I'm really, I really want to do my part in helping our people understand what's really going on and affecting us in our future and longevity. So peace and blessings, YouTube family. It's always an honor and talk to you soon. Thank you.